All right, welcome or welcome back everyone. Here we are through step two. I really do like the lighting effect on this thing. It's really like how it catches the light. Uh, this is, I say everything seems to be going well. I'm, I think it's going to be, you know, it's, it's obviously going to be a big set because this is as, as wide an angle as my camera goes. Just the battery pack powering down automatically on that. Uh, everything does seem to be working right. This is really, like I say, it's really tickling me. I'm liking the, the, the effect on it going together pretty straightforward no no big shocks on it so far um, if you're new here this is what I do I buy these sets and build them step by step in real time so you can see all my successes and all my failures and how I hopefully fix those failures uh, it's a it's sort of let's say this is sort of a first set kind of that said I've done vehicles before but I don't think I've done something quite like this so you know this is a new ish thing uh, if you've seen any sets or anything that, that sort of seems to fit my style feel free to drop it in the comments I'm always looking forward looking to add more oh, other way more to my to-do list I've got a pretty good list but there's always room for more on the end this uh, let's say this one really is I'm, 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 I'm really glad that I picked this one up but without any further ado we're ready for step three so I'm gonna gather up those pieces and we're gonna get going on that And here we go, starting off just mounting our motor up. I think, well, I guess we're actually starting here. But let's see. Got some writing on this side. So I think I'm going to do that to try and sort of conceal that. Pop these guys in up those top sections. Uh, once again, I've taken the liberty of using my old marker just to color in the sides of these things. I just, I, I find that looks a little... To, to my eye, it looks a little better having the, the, rather than the wood grain showing through. But okay, we do this. We do it with the drive shaft pointing out, wires pointing down, and it doesn't go very deep in there at all. Okay, <laughs> and now we're on this guy. Pop these guys. Let's see. I don't know that. It can't be essential, yeah, but I think mm, I can't decide if that's a yeah. I'm gonna put that right into the inside. Then it may not even show. This may all be a moot point, but <laughs> I'm gonna like generally try and try. You know, you can't always do it. But I generally try and conceal any writing or printing on there whenever. To the inside of these things whenever I can. And this guy just pops in here. Keep our motor lined up with its. Mm. It's not being cooperative. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, there we go. Get everybody snug in place. I'm going to line up our screw holes right there. Okay. Now we're ready for our next batch of stuff. Mm -hmm. There. They're saying to wax these gears, but we're not going to conceal them quite yet. So I'm going to wait until we, it's time to sort of where I lose access to them before I put the wax on them, just so I'm not putting stuff everywhere. But then I'll see here. First thing, put these through this hole through our motor. And actually, it looks like a bigger screw, so let me get the bigger screwdriver out. Not much bigger. <laughs> okay, so everybody that's locks that all that piece in place there. Free motion around the drive shaft, so we're good on that. Trying to see, make sure everything 
seated in and everything. I think that'll be it. Then we take our, okay, first thing, take our little screws, two of them anyway, and they look like they're lined up, they're not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still not. Okay, so that's lined up the holes, I think. So, try to turn you upside down then. Okay, that should be. Okay, so that's. Finally found the holes got them lined. Those are lined up, so that's not good. That shouldn't make a difference. <laughs> but for some reason it did, because now it's lined up. <laughs> so Okay, so I guess it depends on which gear. Which I guess you gotta pick the correct gear tooth to line up. At the house. Usually it's top to bottom or something. So then you screw these together and grab the teeny tiny screwdriver. There it is. <laughs> Okay, we should be able to get on the floating and get it snug there because it, it's not exactly flush on the back. It pops out just a touch, but we're going to be floating above the that, so that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, save you for later. This guy is on there with that. And you go on top of that. And then our screw goes into there. Hold it all together. Screws down into the drive shaft. So that is a completed assembly. I just saw that little piece hanging there. So I can find something to grab it with. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably better than tweezers. Can get. And okay. I don't know, just feel better about that now. <laughs> okay. I got that assembly. Now. These guys in. Gotta take a little bit wider shot there. Alright, let's go Put on the other side of this one. We got oh. We're keeping this straight down. And we want the tin that's printed on there facing this direction. With the drive shaft going like so. As far as it goes, I think it is. Yep, that's okay. And I say this. They specify that tin supposed to be that way. All right. Now, oh, get to go ahead and put this onto our body. Unplug my battery. Okay. This in here. Make sure get this the wiring down between our groove our 
heart. So I'm gonna down between that part and somewhere on here I thought they said they were numbered <laughs> okay I've got I turned the numbers to the inside so I don't know if we'll focus that part down or not. Yeah. so I printed down here there's 10 9 11 9 8 That's it. Seven, six. Okay, well, I just have to keep that in mind. Some of these tens. There, there. Mm -hmm. Bring you all the way in. All right. We got. Yep. Here on this side. They're nice and snug. Excellent. Okay. Actually, I'm I think <laughs> looking at what's coming up next. I think I gotta leave this out here. <laughs> hmm. I am going to. Hmm. That makes me nervous. Pull the PCB, get it out of the way. Make sure I don't hurt it. And then I okay. got. Yeah, I hope water still. This many these are pairs of them. Whoop. I guess they are. Is that metal flake paint makes it hard to see? But they're 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 numbered above the D15. There it says seven on that one. <laughs> this I think the eight will show better here. There you go, the eight. Got the piece number and the position position number. Okay. So, I'm supposed to put nine in first, so that's you, and you go, okay, so it's, looks like, looks like I really goofed up by putting this thing in backwards. <laughs> yeah, it's just nine, eight, seven, nine, eight, seven, okay, so it's just, up and down there. <laughs> okay, so nine. And this. I'm worried because this one has a directional notch here. <laughs> and the picture isn't good enough to tell me which one. Okay, but both of them, I'm going to assume, are supposed to be facing forward. That was cooperative. <laughs> nice surprise. Then eight. Mm -hmm. And seven. And while they didn't just number these D9, D8, and D7, <laughs> instead of D15 as being D7, I will leave that to them if we tell it. <laughs> because they didn't want to I guess let's see you. oh I missed some color in there hang on <laughs> pop you back out did I miss the whole thing I just do one side no oh, I missed the whole thing okay Can have one uncolored rib. <laughs> I actually left one of them uncolored on purpose just so I could show this later on. So <laughs> it was not the, not one this many this complicated though. <laughs> Actually, I marked it with a piece of tape so I know I wouldn't forget to color it.
Okay, I'll check the rest of them now. Oh, I missed, yeah, I missed both the 15s. Okay, D15. Right. All right. I guess this is bonus footage. <laughs> I can remember to stay in frame so you can see me doing it. <laughs> Another reason I like doing this, it's just satisfying. Our regular schedule program. <laughs> and D or seven rather. Okay, I think I'm just going to stick with the numbers and everything. Like I say, this is the only directional piece here. It's got that hook groove. And I don't it doesn't, I don't know if we actually use it for anything, but I don't want to... <laughs> I do want to make sure it's uniform, I guess. So I'm going to stick with the numbers going forward. Slot. That's why you're not going in. <laughs> Missed one. Oh yeah, worked much better when you put it in the right place. Let's see, and that's yeah, that's already coming out the back. So, okay, I think that's where that goes. No, it's oh, that's actually what that slot is for. I finally see it. This does go. Over here, back up here. Uh, well, put the. I, I'm gonna pull it, pull this through first. So here, over there, out of the way a little bit. Then, eight. Seven. Now, now we can take our plug or our lights, run it through that hole right underneath the motor. Pull it now, and then you're supposed to. Move it into that slot. We'll go in sideways and twist. So this is something I actually do need my tweezers for, and I've. You know, as well as they're here somewhere. They always are. <laughs> ah, there they are. So, okay, and just right there. It's into that slot and that's like I said that little hook I was showing you and that go over the top like that now yep 
It does. Okay. So that's how it looks like. Eh, maybe not. Let me look at the picture here. Hmm. Okay, we're going to obscure that anyway, so that's not... Okay. That's why they didn't have it. I was thinking I could put down here and run it underneath then back up and back down. But they're gonna be there's gonna be sides on through here to hide all that deep well, focus. <laughs> through all here through here there's another side that goes on, so that's gonna hide that wire, so that'll be alright then. Okay. And we got our wires coming out the bottom together. Alright. Turn to the next page. And that's which deck are you? This this deck. Mm -hmm. and I don't know. Um, I'll screw and now I'm paranoid about accidentally having not colored any of them. One of them. Okay, so these are all colored. Yeah. Okay. And we'll assemble this outside the box. Cool. So you. I can move you out of the way for a moment. Okay. This guy. And likewise, it's you can see the numbers on this one. And X2. Uh, are they showing? Yeah. 5, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and that's our screw for here in a minute. Okay, so does it have a recommended order? Not really. Okay, so just start off. I'll keep the numbers facing forward. <laughs> I don't think on these they look fairly symmetrical, so I don't think it'll be an issue with them. I don't see any strictly side by side any Anything going sideways on these. And five and six go up from the bottom. Numbers facing forward. As far as that goes. This seems not deep enough. No, that's it. Okay. <laughs> and six. Okay, yeah, they... That still doesn't seem right. Let me pop five off again. Yeah, it's pretty shallow, so I guess that is about it. going and okay let's see here got bring our body back and these two slots on six go into these two slots on the boat here and like that this goes up to there Hard to find a place to get a grip on it now. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to pull five again just so I can get my thumb in here to make sure it's uh, seated good. Right. I'll pop five back in and remember that. We're about to do the back side, so I'll have to remember that for over there too. <laughs> That's what that screw is for. <laughs> you come out of the come out of the okay, that came out. Okay. Mm. 
Pop it back out. Reseat that thing. straight through everything. If, it, if everything works right. Seems to be cooperating. <laughs> I think that's far enough to where it's gone through. If I was at Harbor Freight today, I should have bought an electric screwdriver. <laughs> side though. I don't like that. I felt tight over here so I think I've got the wrong piece in the wrong place here. But fortunately I've got a remedy for that situation if I can find something to sort of hold the bottom of the boat maybe. <laughs> yeah, I say that's Neither one of those is tight, so basically I think I, like I, said, I think I got this piece put on. I got them flip-flopped. <laughs> okay. So. And all the rest of them. How are they? That feels okay. That one's a little loose. Okay. Ease that out just a hair. Got the old B7000. Tight little nozzle. Let's pop it a little drop down in there. Ease you back together on that screw. A swizzle stick to get the excess spread out there. Got my dollar ninety nine clamps on it. Maybe yeah. sides here just to make sure it's got plenty of grip. <laughs> All right, let that do its thing. It doesn't take long with that stuff. Make sure you're not going to fall over on me. <laughs> okay, quick stop start before I start on the next bet. Okay, and did the front side, so now we got to do the back side. Same routine. There's one, like I said, I put a piece of tape on there so I'd remember, so I could show you <laughs> coloring the sides in now. I'm going to double check, make sure I got them all. <laughs> Looks like I missed a couple of spots on that one, so I'll hit, hit them. Yeah, that, these are all good. I say this is the simple one. <laughs> from a mistake. I'm going to leave five out this time so I can have a place to put my thumb to squeeze that in. Surprised I remembered that. <laughs> and one. And this is actually the back of the boat so that's the numbers facing forward the other way. Okay. 
Assuming just looks like it's just the same thing, just the other end. Yep. But we're gonna have all our ribs in when it's all said and done tonight. In here. What you got? Okay. Yeah. Please, I guess I could just do the screw from the other side. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt nothing. Yeah, that, it, that side is just a little bit bigger because the screw fed all the way through. <laughs> and six fell out. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Broke one rib, so fix that. Hopefully in... Whoa, got the other ones wrapped, wrapped up too. I think I can still get that out and work on it. Okay. Well, there went... That added on to this video. <laughs> I don't think I'd quite put six all the way in place there. Okay. You... Screwed in. Yeah, it pulled, yeah, this, it matters which side is which, because that, that pulled it much, that, that one's much tighter, yep. Okay, now, let's see, pop this guy out, maybe, and, well, like I said, part of my sales pitch, all my successes and all my failures. <laughs> Okay, so you work on that, and then put this in here. All right, now, set you aside. And this one is usually... together really snug. I say that it will hold itself but it's broken. So get the big as much as I love my B7000 this is not a B7000 job. <laughs> this is a legit wood glue job. <laughs> so clear out the nozzle or it's always gets crusty on this one. Get this ready to roll. Doesn't take much. More than enough there. Sweet spot again. Oop, had it, lost it. Yeah, there. Well, <laughs> it was the second time. This old bag. I'm going to give that 10 or 15 minutes to harden up and I'll be back and we will reinstall that one and call it a night. Okay, I think for sure it was that side that before it was broken. <laughs> yeah, there's a, I can sort of see a line here. That's where the break was. Like I say, it, that is one good thing about the that fiber, that uh, 
using plywood like that, generally the fibers line up really good to get it back to a nice tight situation. So let's uh, see if I can get down in here without breaking any other ones. Pull my wire back up a little bit, give me a little room. And numbers front. That's it. That is really. I think it was this side. <laughs> Let's see, get that back in there. Back in the situation, getting, a, getting pressure on it. Okay, there we go, like a glove, all right, got our, oh yes, I guess I can probably take these off, it's been long enough, and that didn't hold it all, so I'm going to do the same thing on this screw, I'm just going to reverse it and have it come out the other side. I hate to lose a screw head on this side, but oh, I do want it to be secured. super noticeable but it's that's definitely one of those things that's gonna bug me a little bit but I see is that yeah that is as wide as I can go but uh, let me let's plug my get the lights plugged back in and I'll do my do the motor and everything we got those gears rolling show a little bit better now with the <laughs> actually have something on it okay yeah I'm say oh see a lot better without the and down these on down but there we go that's looking good good place to stop uh, as of a few minutes ago, we are 52 subscribers away from the 3,000, which means 52 subscribers away from one of the big projects. I've already got it ordered and it's been shipped, so I should have that in plenty of time to get going. I think it's going to go over really well. It's, it's a, it looks like it's a really cool project, and historically, when I've done one of these projects, it's gone over well as far as viewership goes. So. Hoping everybody enjoys it as much as I'm hoping to. The, the people were really, it's a smaller company than I usually, usually deal with, but they are, they were really nice. In the couple of emails I sent back and forth, I wanted to make sure, hey, is it cool I do this, you know, I explain my videos and everything, that I do it all slow and step by step, and they seemed enthusiastic about it, so that'll, well, you got a, like I said, we got a really good one coming up, so just to, you know, sort of whet the appetite maybe. Other than that, folks, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Whoa, that's a... I hadn't seen it from that angle. That, that does get bright on the edges. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.